back. Welcome back to our second conversation here on OYE. And it is all about celebrating International Men's Day. Uh, to have this, I guess, panel conversation, in studio we have, uh, in the middle here, Ms. Dr. Fernando Cuellar, internist and incentive. And to his right, you have uh, Lani Mendez, the Monetary Evaluation Officer at NCFC. And Mr. Arthur Usher, the member of the National Parenting Task Force. Good morning. Gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, and then, of course, I think Isan is also on the panel. So Isan Cayetano, <laughs> media personality <laughs> and journalist. Uh, but let's talk about International Men's Day. This is celebrated on the 19th of November. And, you know, in Belize, unfortunately, it's overshadowed by other November celebrations. But uh, sticking to the line of International Men's Day, let's talk about the theme and uh, what NCFC is doing to, to raise awareness this year. Um, hi, good morning, Belize, uh, mm -hmm. good morning. So uh, NCFC, when it comes to uh, International Men's Day, we have what's called the National Parenting Task Force. Now that task force and NCFC is in, we, what we do is we foster a society, we're trying to foster a society that makes it acceptable for men to be men, mm -hmm. women to be women, for everyone to be comfortable in the shell that they are, and to foster a better society for family, mm -hmm. to foster a better society for children, right? And how do we do that? Well, the data shows that here in the world, that when a man, a man is an integral part of the family, that when they are an active role in the family, what happens is that the family as a unit operates better. It's, and so it's important for us to address and advocate for the challenges and opportunities, the unique challenges and opportunities that men face mm -hmm. in society. And so um, with some of those challenges, unfortunately, uh, men tend to tend to have, there's a stigma amounts, amounts your mental health. Mm -hmm. There is a stigma and norms that cause men to not want to address certain mental health issues and such. The suicide rate in men is higher. Mm -hmm. And so this year, we decided to try to tackle that issue with, with regards to focusing on one of the six pillars, which is health, specifically mental health, in focusing on zero male suicide. Mm -hmm. You know, so that is the team, zero male suicide for 2023. Mm. Mm. I want to get into the, the, the pillars itself. So one of them is um, the, the mental health. Let's talk about the other five um, before we get into the aspect of the theme this morning. So the the maybe Mr. Usher can help help me out with the yeah, other. <laughs> yeah, he has his here. notes. Um, so right, so there are six pillars: mm -hmm. um, valuing male roles, that's mm -hmm. one. Acknowledging the contribution of men and boys, and then number three is improving male health. Mm -hmm. Number four, tackling discrimination and disadvantage, uh, fostering positive gender roles, and making the world a safer place for everyone. Mm -hmm. So those are our six. And this year we're utilizing improving male, male health, which then ties into zero male suicides. Mm -hmm. I really like this, uh, this conversation about surrounding International Men's Day because whenever we celebrate Men's Month, you know, there's always this um, kind of blowback of why we don't celebrate men either. And, and the reality is, is that for so long, men have been an integral part. They've been the moving part of um, societal progress. And then, of course, women have been overshadowed. But let's talk about the need to uplift these pillars. Let's talk about the need to, um, to raise awareness that there is more male suicide happening than there is towards women. So I, I, want to, I want you guys to stress to me the importance of celebrating this day in particular. So yeah, I can tackle that first. Um, so uh, International Men's Day was started in 1999 mm -hmm. um, by Dr. Tillis uh, He was a professor at uh, University of West Indies in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. 
So again, the importance of International Men's Day is basically to celebrate men in all of these six pillars. Um, but their contributions, um, it's, I guess it's a psychological thing. Mm -hmm. Because if you are not recognized, mm -hmm. then you do not feel value. Mm -hmm. And so where we're at with International Men's Day, and you're right, um, it's important to give credence and give some kind of assurance that what you're doing is valid. Mm -hmm. Um, for the most part, we see a lot of negative images of men uh, in our society and, and generally through the media and different movies and stuff that we watch. And so it's important to also provide the opposite spectrum to that. Mm -hmm. And so the positive side of men and what do men do in the family and what do men do for society on a daily basis is important. Mm -hmm. um, International Men's Day bring up all of these issues. and. Sometimes it rub people the wrong way because you know there are a lot of dynamics at, at play with that. But um, mm. appreciation for any human being, I think, is, I'm is fair. I'm my turn because <laughs> I want to be controversial. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> sat in silence long enough. Okay. Look, here's the thing, right? While yes, men have been very, very crucial in terms of shaping our beliefs and society for what it is. You're right when you say that. Oftentimes, the role of the man gets overlooked in certain areas of uh, either parenting, certain areas of providing for the household, mm -hmm. providing for a household, mm -hmm. multiple facets if you look at it from mm -hmm. that point of view, right? So we've established all of these other structures that recognize, and rightly so, the role of the woman. You have a National Women's Commission, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have women's month, you have all of these things, right? Respect to that. But we don't have anything that says, okay, you know what? There are some of us good men in society who deserve the same kind of recognition that we're giving to the women for an entire month, right. for an entire, whatever the case may be, right. right? And one may say, well, but we exist in a chiefly patriarchal society where the man are done, the breadwinner, the, the head we of the household or whatever. recognition already. But what about us men who are fathers to our kids? Mm -hmm. We're there every single step right. of the way. We make sure that things get done, you know, the right way in terms of raising our children. Right. And there's little to no recognition for that. Agreed. Right? Yeah. That's, I think, those are the kinds of conversations that we should and be having. And you know, having. one of the, and I'm glad you brought that up because when we did have the women's mm -hmm. panel a cup, in March, uh, we had a conversation, I believe, and we were talking about the things that, that make us and shape us as mm -hmm. women, right? And the balancing act was having that male figure in our lives. Mm -hmm. Everybody that spoke said, you know, I am who I am because I had a great father. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, I had a great mother. Kudos to the single mothers, but that balancing act of a great mother mm -hmm. but a really great male, male figure in my life, that is what shaped me mm -hmm. uh, as a woman in society. And I, and I, could, I could attest to that as well. Yeah. But we don't give credit in that in that aspect we don't say well these are the men that, and 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 when we're talking about seeing it in a in a negative light it's often because there is that absence of the male father figure there or, or an abusive mm -hmm. male father figure and so we don't talk about the what ifs what if that person had a present father what mm -hmm. if that person had a healthy emotional stable household with a male figure in it mm -hmm. and that kind of conversation i think would move the dynamic from a negative into a mm. positive light. Mr. Clary, did you watch me? And, I, and I, I'm not sure if you want to come back to what I said. Well, I'm going to piggyback on what Isana said, and mm -hmm. I multiplied by 10, and then falling back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm glad I'm playing this minor role today. Um, when I was contacted by Mr. Osha, I was excited in Shalika. Mm -hmm. I said, wow. Finally, we can get the men's commission established. Mm -hmm. uh, that, 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 that was going to be the next news. No? Um, and enough has been said mm -hmm. so far already. I, I don't think I could add, add any more to it. Um, being a man is, is challenging, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, the sun definitely touched on the important thing of mm -hmm. being a provider, um, being a parent. Mm -hmm. Being a parent is hard, mm -hmm. uh, man and woman. And I'm sure that for the next, maybe the next 20 years, we'll be 
not talking about men and women, but rather gender mm -hmm. yeah. and gender roles, no? and yeah. because the lines are getting blurred. blurred. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we won't have that definitive line to differentiate mm -hmm. between the role of a man and the role of a woman in mm -hmm. the next 20 years. It, it's just going back to perhaps applying being a, a good human being, mm -hmm. um, loving and caring for mm -hmm. each other, doing what you would want, um, do what you would want to be done to you mm -hmm. with respect and, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays in, 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 in our society, we have women who are smart, smarter, earn more, mm -hmm. more everything than, than men. And it has, in, in, a, in a very personal life, it has also <laughs> affected me a lot. Mm -hmm. um, my, as you know, my um, craft takes me a lot out of the house mm -hmm. um, but sometimes I wonder if I use it as a justification <laughs> or an excuse um, but at the end of the day it's it's like that when it comes to, to my, my reality mm -hmm. um, so it's it's a difficult challenge and I hope that our governments will see it as that and, and give more equality on, on both sides mm -hmm. huh? equality on both sides. I would want to see more women playing a bigger role in politics for sure. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's a, I suspect, could be a low-hanging fruit that we can <laughs> try to instill. Yeah. And again, it comes with some discussion because we don't want to put one quota, for example, and I say, yeah. okay, one third have to be women and then just for the sake, just for the sake of, of it. They, yeah, have, it to, they have to earn it. Oh, no, they yeah. have to earn it. Mm -hmm. And I, curiosity, in, I, I I wonder if it's only Belizean culture that women tear down women more than so uh, very, than, very than, the, than, than the Mexican or the, or, or, the, or, the, or the Venezuelans or the Ethiopians or what have you, know. But you you hear that often. So oh, yeah. mm -hmm. it's it's kudos to the to the person, and and I would want us to not be too gender mm -hmm. um, specific when it comes to because we all face same mental health challenges, yeah. same parenting challenges. Mm -hmm. And that kind of thing. Huh? Mm -hmm. Let's let's double back to the theme, mm -hmm. right? right. Uh, zero male suicide, right? right? To me, it's in a sense ideological mm -hmm. that you could reduce, you know, this crisis. I'll des describe it crisis, as such. Yeah. This crisis to nil. Zero. Simply because, as a man, my challenges in life may very well be different than yeah, yours. Right. So Unique. what drives me to ideation may be a different trigger than what drives you to ideation mm -hmm. and so on and so mm -hmm. forth, right? What I'm looking at is the idea that we all need an outlet, right? right? If we have a space for men to be able to gather and have certain conversations about how we're feeling and how to go about problem solving because that's a huge part of it if you ask me. Mm -hmm. if, if you're burdened by debt, that's a problem that you need to figure out. If you're having marital issues, that's a problem that you need to figure out, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So if you create a space or a platform where we can sit down and discuss amongst each other how we can address this for us as brothers and so on and so forth. Maybe we can't bring it to zero, but that's a vehicle that helps to gradually reduce those numbers, right? Yeah. So my question in all of that is, where are we with creating this kind of space? Where are we with creating an initiative where um, you could go and sit down, not only with a counselor, but with a peer, peer. and just have these kinds of conversations, clear your mental space and so on? Well, I, I would say um, we're in the beginning stages um, mm -hmm. for a, a specific space. Um, the discussion has been just what you said, we need the space, mm -hmm. right? So how do we move from we need the space to actual space? And again, that space is cyberspace, so it has to be a building. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it will need to be that. It will need to be something fluid mm -hmm. um, that men can meet um, in cyberspace or in wherever. Uh, across the country mm -hmm. um, just because it's such a broad reaching topic and men yeah. are affected like you said in various ways in various cultures mm -hmm. differently mm -hmm. our data is saying um, for this year um, 
uh, Stan Creek has had the most uh, uh, suicides, and then Toledo has had zero. Mm -hmm. um, so again, just creating the space and the opportunity for men to discuss these issues is important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you were a part, Isani, of, of our conferences. We had mm -hmm. uh, two conferences uh, previous to this awareness. Mm -hmm. Last year was specific to awareness as well. And again, the, the conversations are, has always led to, well, what's next? And, mm -hmm. and how do we build on this? Because we need it. Yeah. Just this Saturday, I had a conversation with some young men. Um, about some of these same issues, mm -hmm. how their environment uh, forge uh, and make them into what they're going to be. Mm -hmm. And so they're saying the same thing. We need to follow up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, what's, what's the next step after this, sir? What's the next step, sir? When we have another meeting, sir? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing is happening. And these are young men in their teens identifying some of the same issues. Yeah. Yeah. And so we don't want them to be led in our same direction that we are mm -hmm. now coming from yeah. and realizing our situation. So indeed there is a conversation. Um, how that looks, um, I'm hoping to have a better answer for you by Father's yeah. Day next year. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I can add as well, yes, I, I think this is why awareness is important as well. Mm -hmm. Because uh, like, like you all mentioned, it gives us now we have this platform, we have open your eyes, you know, mm -hmm. to get the conversation out there. Yes. It is until you all, the men out there, speak up and say, I need this. Right. Mm -hmm. It's until you tell your representatives that I need this, mm -hmm. this is what I need, mm -hmm. you know, and then, but that's one of the major issues when it comes to men, we don't speak up when it comes to our mental health, when it comes to our physical health. Mm -hmm. Men oftentimes, and I'm sure Dr. Koyar can, can <laughs> speak on this, uh, refuse to go mm -hmm. to do just their basic checkups. They have yeah. insurance, but mm -hmm. they still don't go do their yeah. mm -hmm. basic checkups, mm -hmm. you know? So it's not only, it's, we need to stand up and start speaking. Yeah. We need to say that this is needed. This mm -hmm. is something that we need. There is a, a a meme that I used to like float, like that was floating about that was having like um, there is a pool of water and a hand that's sticking out of the water that's asking for help, mm -hmm. and then the society is the other hand that says uh, be a man, and then the hand drowns, right? So yes, as much as I know you want to craft yourself for each other as as men, I I really mm -hmm. think it's a societal issue as well. Yeah. Where and I catch myself doing it a lot because we're so culturally used to it where if a man is emotional, we don't know what to do because we've never had the conversation of, this is how you comfort just a person uh, mm -hmm. when they're in a particular emotional uh, situation or any kind of situation. So how do we shift societal norms to ensure that we as women as well can be a, a shoulder to cry on or a support system for our male counterparts? I think it comes through education, just equipping ourselves with that knowledge that, that men do suffer as well and mm -hmm. oftentimes suffer in silence, mm -hmm. you know, because we, are, we tend to be seen as the person you go to in the family. So in the family support, you come to the man mm -hmm. for help. The child will come to his dad, the wife will come to, to her husband. You know, so you go to them for help, but then who helps? The yeah. father. So, yeah. so I think sometimes maybe, maybe we just have to lie in bed and say, say to ourselves, let me, let me speak to my husband. Let me see how he's doing. Let me ask him the hard questions, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because it's difficult to ask that. How are you in your, in your mind? How are you doing? How are you doing up there? You know, it's a difficult mm -hmm. question to ask. It, it can, it can prove, um, it can prove, even for very intimate partners, it can prove something difficult. very difficult. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Koyar? Well, I would want to add just by saying um, identify role models in our society. I think mm -hmm. we, we tend to um, younger men or young men, children, and we should start from there, no? From yeah. don't, don't wait <laughs> until we try to address adults and adult problems, like right? going to the schools. Everything starts from a even if you're going to try to teach somebody to eat healthy, you, you start from younger. Mm -hmm. So we start from our schools, like we use our role models um, that we have in our society. And you don't have to pick one doctor, one liar. I just the other day tell somebody, 
the most important person in my life today is my plumber. Because yeah. <laughs> 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 um, when the bathroom stop up, well, yeah. I that's the first thing you call uh, for uh, help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't want to throw my diploma through the window yeah. and, <laughs> yep. and teach me. So it's 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 giving value to each mm -hmm. each each person, no? yeah. um, be it in any any part of society. For International Men's Day, uh, what are the activities that you all are doing to celebrate that? Uh, so this year there is a there has been a reach out to um, the BDF, mm -hmm. and there's going to be conversations with because a lot of the time you know B, our BDF are macho men, you know, <laughs> and it's very difficult. As seen as it's such. as seen as, you know it's very difficult for them. Or no, maybe no one reaches out to them yeah. the way they should. So I think it's important. And I know Mr. Usher has the more of the details mm -hmm. on it. So, you know, um, but it's it's more of reaching out to those that aren't being reached out to. Yeah. You know, reaching out to those we know need a hand, but no one is giving them that hand. Yeah. You know, and so um, it's identifying who needs the help and. With the limited resources that mm -hmm. we have, we try to reach out to yeah. who we can. So, right, so besides the ongoing media campaign and mm -hmm. all this sort of stuff, um, uh, all the narrative has been on international means they just reach out to that male in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Your son, your uncle, your whoever, they'll say, I appreciate you. You know, it's a simple gesture. Mm -hmm. and. It's a human gesture, like yeah. we've been saying all morning. Um, that can make someone's day. It usually makes someone's day, right? If you mm -hmm. show up, you just say, look, thanks for all you're doing. Yeah. You know, it's appreciation, it's heartfelt, and does make carry that person for two months. That's you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. it's just that, that touch and appreciation for what they do. Um, it's that simple because, as we've been saying, men have a somewhat issue of actually reaching out for help. Yeah. And so if it comes to us, then we recognize, okay, he or she recognizes me, maybe next time that man in your life will come to you yeah. because he knows the door is open now. Yeah. So it's a small gesture, but it's something that we're asking everybody to do uh, on a personal level and just reach out to men on the whole. Wonderful. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for coming in, having the hard conversation, and we hope to see you guys again here before next year, before Father's before Day. Father's Day right? <laughs> uh, we got to take the break, and when we come back, it's all about the Total Business Solutions GIS Expo. Stay with us.